Oakland Stoke Living. Guys, it's Derek Stokes here for Stoke Living. And we are going to get started with the garden. It's that time of the year. And I'm going to get the uh, cold weather plants in the ground. I got some um, broccoli, some cabbage, onion, lettuce, uh, spinach, and radish. Yep. Yeah. So come with us and uh, I'll kind of show you how we're going to uh, plant these delicious vegetables um, I am by no means like a professional gardener which is just kind of the way I've been taught how to do it so if you guys see something that would be a little better hey I'm all about suggestions so maybe I can learn something and you can learn something along the way so hopefully you guys enjoy so now we're going to get the uh, the, the rows laid out um, and I like to use a uh a hole like this right here for laying out the rows it does a really good job and then also whenever you're uh, just weeding out the uh the weeds around the plants it does a good job cleaning up around them yeah bub just found the mclaren car in the dirt just found the mclaren car in the dirt well, here show them i'm not sure if i can see it let me wash it off that's where we're done i bet you that's a that's a good prize right there did good Look all right there. so um you, whenever you're you're setting out your rows you need to know the width that you want uh for your rows um yeah, i've got a okay i've got a a tiller here and you kind of want to go uh, make sure that you can get your tiller in between there and not get too close to the plants but close enough to where you're not having to go back and do a lot of extra weeding so I will uh I'll usually throw a mark on my uh my my hoe on where I want to have it. Okay, so that's probably about about right. Okay, so I'll lay out my uh my rows, I'll throw a piece of electrical tape on there and lay out my rows at that width there. But uh, whenever you're uh, setting this uh, kind of distance for your rows, uh, you need to take into account for what you're planting also. This uh, cold weather plants, they don't take up a whole lot of room. So it's pretty easy to get the uh, tiller down through there. Um, with your squash, zucchini, cucumber, they will kind of spread out um, and take up a little more room. So you need to keep that in mind when you're laying out your rows. So you, you can uh, still get your tiller in there, not damage the plants. Um, tomatoes the same way. You've got to take into account for the, the cages. So you always kind of keep that stuff in mind whenever you're laying out your rows. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but if you look all the way down that string, this has been my uh, string that I've used to lay out my rows for years. And uh, instead of getting an this is a new string when it breaks. I always kind of splice it and find a few extra pieces of string here and there. It seems like it's hard to come by. So it's a, it's a ratty mess all the way down to there. <laughs> and I've already had to splice it twice while just laying this thing out. It would be a lot easier if I just went and got me some new string, but kind of stubborn, I guess. So I'll, uh, Start uh, hoeing up my rows and get some stuff planted. Rose Lake. Okay, 
so I got the first row laid out. Um, you kind of wonder why I stopped right here. This part of the garden over here, we have not used a whole lot. I've planted it a few times, um, but we're going to plant up pumpkins in there this year. I shouldn't be out of breath like this, I now. I'll catch my breath here in a second. Whew. But anyways, we're going to plant some pumpkins up and through there, and we're going to try to use that part of the garden. Um, this whole area has been in the family for, for several years. Um, my mom, she was born and raised the same house and area, and uh, they always milk cows. And the ground is very, very fertile, just from, from cattle being here and uh, manure and all that good stuff. Um, not a whole lot of dirt in the soil. I mean, it's just good, rich dirt. And it does a really good job of going to the garden. Um, so this first row right here, we're gonna plant uh, probably uh, lettuce then spinach, then radish, then we'll start our onions. The second row, the second row. The second row, we'll just see how much. I forget every year. Okay, Philip needs to be taught again how to do this. First we're gonna put in is lettuce, okay? It's gonna be, this is gonna be kinda like for your, your salads and stuff. So you kinda want that easy stuff where you can just go over here and grab um, kind of right off the bat. So we're going to do like lettuce and spinach and then radish and onion and so on. Okay. So we've got this bib lettuce, they call it. Got it from Sandusky. And lettuce, it's a very, very small seed. Okay. It's kind of windy out here, so we're going to have to be careful. We will probably have lettuce growing all this way because <laughs> that's the way the wind's going. Okay. Come here, Philip. Come over here on this side. So you can kind of use this package kind of like a little bit of a funnel, okay? So you're just gonna take this, we're just gonna- to... Oh, it's tiny. Yeah, it's little, okay? So we're just gonna kind of, kind of, just a few few seeds here and there as we go, okay? You gonna do that? Um, but we're on, like- Gotta right. work your way down through there. What about you covering the dirt up? We'll come back and cover, cover it up, okay? All right, so just Where'd get, you get stop down, at? kind of make a funnel, kind of, do that right there. Okay. All right, I stopped right about in here. Okay, so get down low to the dirt, okay? Okay, and just keep on doing that as you go. Move a little quicker. You're getting a little bit thick through there. We're gonna have gobs of lettuce. <laughs> You're doing good. No, I'm not. Keep it up, get closer to the ground so it don't spread. There you go. Keep on going. Get closer, closer. Is it gone? Yeah. All right, hold up right there. Okay, the next one, I got Philip's favorite. What? Spinach. No. <laughs> yes, that's my least favorite out of all the Is things. it? It makes you strong. Why? No, no, it doesn't. Oh, Popeye. Okay. I've seen it happen in real life. All right, get down there close. Kind of do the same thing, okay? Kind of spread it out. Where's it at? I don't know. You stopped right about here, okay? So we're gonna start right here. Okay. All right. Kind of spread it out. This is a little bit bigger. There you go. Ow. <laughs> you won't go with it. All right, right there. You stopped right there. <laughs> Phillips or Livy's shadow is showing. So if y'all wondering what Livy looks like, there it is. <laughs> Olivia has been feeling under the weather, so she doesn't feel like being on camera. I said that's okay. She gets a pass today, so she's just going to film for me. All right. So the next one we have up is we've got. Cherry Bell Radish. Another one of Philip's favorites. <laughs> All right, kind of the same deal, Bob.
Yeah. Right there? Okay. Right there. Right there. All right. So here's the next one. We got just the old bulb onion, okay? These are going to be kind of stout onion you taste. Um, but they're just going to be like your green onion. All right. So they're not going to be a big bulb on the end of it. They're going to be just kind of the tall green onions. We're going to try to finish out the row here with these, Phil. Okay. Just kind of. We're just going to kind of. Yeah, you just put it right there. That's fine. Just kind of put them about like that far yeah. apart. Okay, see about like that? There you go. Finish out the, I'll get some more on you. Okay, so now the next one we got, they call them like a Texas sweet or something like that. I'm not sure which one it was, but uh, it's just an old sweet onion. And these are the ones that will grow up to have a big bulb on the end of them. Put on like a nice greasy cheeseburger. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. Well, so what do you put on the cheeseburger? Huh? What all do you put on the cheeseburger? Cheese and ketchup. Cheese, cheese and ketchup only, huh? Yeah, that's how Philip likes it. Okay. So we're just gonna lay these guys down, just like that right there. We want the green. The green is going to be showing, okay? Whenever we're gonna fold the the dirt over on it, you want the green tops showing, okay? So it'll get sunlight and it'll grow up that way. <clears throat> Alright, let me take a... Dad tried something out different on his onions this year. He built them up kind of on a hill. Um, he said that the, the bulbs on it will get bigger. Um, I probably should try that, but I didn't. We'll see who has bigger onions. About like that, Philip. Okay? okay. We're just gonna lay them out. And whenever we go to fold the dirt, we're just gonna do one side, just kind of lay it over on. Okay? Kind of hold the. Well, we got the uh, lettuce and all that covered up. Onions covered up. Now they're just finishing up on the broccoli and the cabbage. That ought to work. Keep it up, kiddos. told the kids I'm going to tell them a little secret um, if you haven't noticed uh, Stokes's are rather large individuals um, kind of tall and everyone's wondering to ask you where, where do you get your height from everybody thinks it would be from my mom she's six about six three six two six three something like that but that ain't it that ain't it here right, kids, I'm gonna show you what it is. Whenever I was a kid, I went to my grandma's house, which was here, and went to the refrigerator and I thought I was getting me some uh, blue Kool-Aid. And I took me a big old swig of it before I realized what I was drinking. It was all-purpose miracle Grow. <laughs> so, that's how uh, that's how I got to be so tall. I, I drank this stuff right here. <laughs> so, you uh, want to grow? Uh, I'm, I'm just joking. I, mean, I really did drink that, but uh, I don't encourage you to drink that to get tall, because it might not be really what happened. I think it's probably because my parents are tall. Okay, so we're gonna start our giant pumpkin seeds. This is. Dill's Atlantic Giant. We are uh, I'm a little bit concerned because we're not in the Atlantic region, but uh, maybe we can make this work. <laughs> so we're going to start this out. Um, we've got some potting soil mix. And we're gonna mix some of this stuff up. Don't trust the old pocket knife out. Katie's going to help me mix this up.
got some old potting soil. Got some Miracle Grow. I need you to mix that up for me. Just get your old hands in there. Like that. <laughs> Stick. <laughs> stick. Or a spoon. Come here, Philip. Why? I need you to mix this for me. Why? For these pumpkin seeds. Just with come around here hands? on the side. Yeah, just with your hands. Come over and dig I into it. Wash my hands. Well, you can do it again. Come over here. Come around this way. You make a better door than a window. <laughs> okay, just mix it all in there. Like you're making a, like a mud pie. Like a mud pie. <laughs> Mix it in there. You're what good. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> now, what they what they use in this is uh, a raccoon manure. It does a really good job. <laughs> I'm just choking. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you some more water. Here you go. This will make you grow big. All right, mix it up some more. Come on. I'll show you folks what this mixture dig, looks like. Dig. Dig. Oh yeah. You're I mean mix. Not yet. Um, why don't he mix this up? This is highly poisonous. It up that's in your mouth. <laughs> no, it's <just> okay. <laughs> well your dad drank it once and you see how yeah. you turn out. <laughs> you'll you'll turn out just like me, you drink that mm -hmm. stuff. You never drink that that yet. Yeah. You yeah. drank miracle Row. I drink miracle Row. I thought it was Kool-Aid. At your grandma's house? Yeah. At this house? At this house. Oh man, that looks good. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah. Okay. Get all the sides. There you go. <coughs> so we're going to take and uh, do just 12 of them. Wait about a week, do another 12. And just in case, if we're off on our calculations, we uh, won't get burned. If I plant too early or something like that. Right. Where are we putting these at? Out there in the garden, where we can baby them. Bill, you're gonna have to take care of this. this these are gonna be like your first girlfriend. You're gonna have to watch over them, nurture them, take care of them, talk to them nice. What do you mean, talk to them nice? Speak sweet nothings in the pumpkins here. You need to grow. Okay, here we go. Right, go wash your hands now. Go in that, go in that water hose. We'll come back here, we gotta plant these. <laughs> Like. Just they, they look like giant pumpkin seeds. Is it the big ones? I don't know. Like how big is it supposed to get? I mean like a thousand pounds. Up to they said it could be up to two thousand pounds if we do everything right. People are gonna think, man, they grow them big up here on Stokes Farm. <laughs> We plant these. Sometimes people go over them and they actually kind of file these seed edges off a little bit to help it germinate or grow quicker. We're not going to do that. Turn around on the side, Philip. But we are going to plant them in a direction, okay? I want the pointy end down, okay? You take it in there. You put in one per pot? One per pot, okay? I'm get dirty again. So, pointy end down, Philip. Yeah, remember which pot to put, but in the very center, push it down. There you go. And we'll cover back up. Oh, why my hand? It has, you know, okay. It's the pumpkin seed. Well, I have something to keep bugs and stuff from eating on them. It's kind of like that, uh. Yeah, kind of like that, uh. No, no, just these. 
These are the special ones. These are the 2,000 pound pumpkins. Did I, did I tell you it's going to be a, a thousand? Yeah, well, I we'll say a thousand pound pumpkin. That's what they say. Don't make me a liar. That's what this right here says. 2,000 pounds in the proper conditions. Everything just right. Yeah. 125 days from seeding. So like, does that mean it takes that long for them to grow? Yeah, to get them. Uh, for your fruit. <laughs> I mean, it won't be the full pumpkin by then. Yeah. Well, that's only, that's like in July. I don't know, we gotta make, there's some things done some research on it but you have to cover it and do different things to keep it from maturing fully so it's not five thousand pounds I mean, i'll take a five thousand pound pumpkin <laughs> all right we'll see how this goes you guys don't have a whole lot of faith well i just don't know i can't imagine it being a thousand pounds by july no, it'll. It's just gonna take some time. <laughs> I don't know. A year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got the uh, garden planted, the giant pumpkin seeds planted, and it's been a pretty good day. So, let's we'll see how this endeavor turns out. Um, if you guys. Get the opportunity have the land you really don't need a whole lot of land um but get you some seeds and play around with it try to grow some of your own uh, vegetables it's a lot of fun you learn along the way it doesn't take an expert to to do this um but it's a good skill to have and just uh try to try to feed and support your family and learn some important skills along the way. Well, uh, I think this probably about completes our day. Um, Philip is wanting to play some football, so I'm gonna play some football with my boy. You guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you.